all right youtube in this video we are going to see how to create this table so this is not a normal table you can change the position of the table row if i click on you see the image one image one is now the second row if you click again image one is on the third row if you wish to move up you can do it and if it exceeds now if you see there is no place to move it is say it is going to say cannot move further now if you come out come down come down and if there is no space below it is going to say cannot move below and uh, not only the table row can be moved you can delete the table as well with the help of confirmation model and the confirmation after the confirmation it is going to remove it with the help of animation fine now let's get into the code so here the section will be of two types the first one we will be focusing on the position change and the second one is the removable row we won't focus we won't be i won't be explaining the row removal because we have already seen this in many number of times in our previous video we have almost 18 videos 80 plus videos on javascript we have completed it and if you wish to change the position by dragging you can also do that i have also covered the video sorry i, I also covered the section like by dragging the tr and changing the position i have done it in the previous video if you wish to check you can do it now let's focus on this one on button click the row should get highlighted and it should change the position and if there is no position to go above and below it should see a message and uh, get the source code in the description to follow along now let's get into it so the only thing we need to understand is we need to know table is this is a table and inside the table we have a table body so this uh, this id is really important which we are going to use it in our javascript so when the page loads i want to run a function and this function is responsible so let me show you when the page loads i want to page loaded and above function called don't worry about the spell and the page is loaded and the function is getting automatically log called because we are calling it over here so on the called function what we are going to do is we are going to get t body so this is a t body if i control and log and show you so on page load let me get into the console section first so if i refresh this is a t body we are getting the t body and inside the t body we are going to find the two buttons these are the two buttons which i have identified with click down and click up so as you know get element by class name is going to return html collection to access multiple collections i'm going to use for for each but the html collection does not have the for each function inside it so for that what i'm doing is i'm getting the html collection and converting it to array so if you see dot 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 uh, followed by the open and close square bracket the html collection is getting converted to array and the array has a for each function so with the help of for each function i can access individual buttons let me show you console.log so now on page refresh you will get individual buttons with the help of for each now once i get the individual buttons i'm adding i'm going to add a function of i'm going to add a click event and that click event i will i have described it over here so if you see on button move up we have changed position up on button move down we have changed position down so these two function are very similar if you understand the first function the second function is simply the same copy of the so let's focus on the first one which is move up so we have already seen 
on page load we are getting all the list of buttons and i'm going to the click listener and we have added the click listener and this function is going to get triggered when i click on it so if i show you alert you clicked the button don't forget don't worry about the spelling i'm i'm in hurry to complete the if i click up you click the button and again the message is also popping up if you click here you click the button yes again if you click up you click the button so this function is getting triggered each time you click on the up button so now this is simply referring to the button let me show you console dot lock this is referring to the, the button which you have clicked. so this is the button i am now so this dot parent element so the button is inside the td the td is inside tr the tr is inside table body so let me see it, it should not be the table body let me see what it is so, so let me check the html the td actually yeah you see the button this refers to button and uh, the parent element is td and the parent element again is going to refer to the tr so this is the current element to move so which is the tr it is going to return the current element to move the tr we have got and once we get the tr what i am going to do is i am going to i am going to add a class actively moving so let me comment this for now so if i click again if i click again if i click again you will see each time i move the tr the selected tr is getting the class actively moving so now if you see all of them has the same highlighted color to remove them what i am doing here is i am running a for loop so that for loop what it is going to do is it is going to fetch <coughs> it is going to fetch all the present class let me show you console dot lock class will be highlighted and we are getting the html collection again move up class will be highlighted and we are getting the <coughs> html collection and what this for loop is going to do is it's going to replace the actively moving to nothing so the logic is very simple if i move up again i move up again i move up the previously previously what all tr is there with class actively moving it should be removed or it should be replaced with nothing that's what i am doing here and the class is added now the next thing <coughs> since we are moving up we need to get the previous element so the current element is the tr and the previous element is the tr which is above don't worry about this one this one is for the extreme top so what i'm doing is in the t body which is t body i'm running a function insert before so the current element will come below the previous element so in other word the current element place will be swiped with previous elements space so if there is no previous element that means if we are if, if there is no previous element that means what we are on the table so if there is no tr that is what i am saying here then show the message move above there is no tr again 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 no tr the same way i am doing the same thing over here removing the already added move actively moving class and then i'm get in this time previously it was previous element now this is next element so if you see next element next element sibling current element is move is simply the tr which we have clicked right now and the next element is the one which is below so we have to 
swipe these two that's why i have done here uh that's all for this video get the source from the description